This is moving a row to an entirely different spreadsheet using a checkbox. So I have these two sheets set up, one called new, one called complete. And as we've done in previous videos, I want to move data between them or from new to complete using a checkbox. Let's pull up the script. There's going to be a few differences between this script and previous scripts we've used to move data between different sheets because we're doing it between different spreadsheets. So here is the original script that we've used. Okay. And as a reminder, on edit scripts are not meant to be manually run. If I try to manually run it, I'm immediately going to get cannot read property source of undefined because the object E or the parameter E only exists when an edit occurs passing this E variable to the function. If you try to run the function manually, it's going to fail because that E does not exist. So don't run the functions. Let them run when the edit occurs. Let's look at what we need to change. So I want const dest. So I'm setting up the destination. I want that to not be get active spreadsheet. I want that to be this other spreadsheet. So let's change that to open by ID. The ID is this. That's everything between spreadsheets slash D and slash edit. So this long string is the spreadsheet ID. It's the same thing you would use for an import range. And I want get sheets zero. I don't want to try to assume an active sheet. I just want to get whatever the first sheet is. And since JavaScript arrays are zero indexed, I'm calling the first element by using array notation zero. I want to set a logger in here just so we can check that it's running. All right, so now when I make an edit, it should show up here when it happens. So let's just click, because that is the trigger, is the new spreadsheet on the new tab, which it's actually going to fail on that. Let's change that to sheet one, or actually get rid of that entirely since we only have one sheet. There, that's what we want. So let's do it with this one. If I come to executions, on edit is going to fail because it's saying you do not have permission to call spreadsheet app to open by ID and there are required permissions attached to that. That helps us a lot. This error message helps a lot. It basically is saying that you cannot use a simple trigger in order to open another spreadsheet. You can only do that with an installed trigger. Here's a previous one I'd had in testing. I'm gonna delete that one. I don't wanna get confused, so I'm going to rename this. Move row on check. Let's go to triggers, add a new trigger. We're going to do the move row on check. And that needs to happen on edit. Excellent. Save this. Perfect. Now, because I've done this before, it didn't show up, but normally there's gonna be a pop-up that asks you to accept various permissions to allow this to happen. Go ahead and accept those. You are the developer, so you should trust yourself. <laughs> That's what the error message is mostly gonna be, is if you don't trust the developer, don't install this, because they could access theoretical stuff. 
you're the developer, no one else has access to it, go ahead and accept it and it should run through. So now I've renamed the trigger, I've created an installed trigger, awesome, let's go ahead and give that a try. It still didn't come up, what's going on? All right, so we made it to go. And again, I sometimes like to show the troubleshooting to see where it failed. Let's try here. still getting a fail and where did it fail there we go exception target range and source range must be on the same spreadsheet again I'm showing you this so we can look at the troubleshooting to get to the final so we're looking at row 9 code 9 is giving us the row number so we're looking at row 9 and it's saying target sheet and source sheet must be on the same spreadsheet. That's because this dot move to, as well as the dot copy to, require it to be on the same sheet. And that's where we're running into challenge. So rather than this, let's comment that out. Here's what I'm gonna do. Rather than calling the source and moving the source, I'm going to call the destination first. Get range. I'm going to get the last row plus one. First column, one row, three columns. Dot set values. And that's where this is going to be incredibly important is rather than trying to move the row, I'm going to set the destination row equal to the current values. Offset zero, negative two, one, three, dot get values. Let me uncomment this just so we can compare. So here we have the, the one that's not working, but does work when you're more working with two sheets on the same spreadsheet, source.getRange.move2. Because I'm doing this to a different spreadsheet, I need to do destination.getRange.setValues. And this notation just means that I can avoid calling another .getRange. So R is the range of the edit. I'm calling offset which the parameters on offset are how many rows to move, how many columns to move, how many rows to get, and how many columns to get. It's very similar to get range. We just already have that R defined, so I'm just gonna use that. So I'm doing an offset from where the edit occurred of zero rows, we want the same row, negative two columns, because since I'm editing column three here, I want all of this, so I'm doing two rows to the left, which is negative two, one row and three columns dot get values. Okay, comment that out, save it, and now let's try it. And there it is. Task number 487 has been moved from the source sheet to the destination sheet removed from the original sheet. And that happened because instead of trying to move the row, we set the values at the destination equal to the values at the source. And then of course, deleted the row. So there's the important things. First off, remember that any edit script should not be manually run, whether that is a simple trigger via function on edit or an installed trigger where you've actually made a trigger for a script. 
this E variable, this E parameter must exist for it to run properly. So don't try to run them. Just let the script run automatically whenever you make an edit. We have to do open by ID. You can also do open by URL, in which case you'll just paste the entire URL. Just for shortness of the script, I like to use open by ID instead. And then importantly here, you must use set values rather than move. That does mean that formatting will not move with it. You will have to change some things to do that. You'll have to do get backgrounds and set backgrounds or get number formatting and set number formatting, but it's going to work the same way. You're going to set the formulas. You're going to set the formats. You're going to set the backgrounds by calling the destination range and setting the destination range equal to the source range rather than calling the source range and moving that to the destination. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if this was helpful, like, subscribe, and go ahead and reach out to me via email here in the comment section on LinkedIn, on Twitter. Always happy to hear from you and help out wherever I can.